Actinolite and tremolite are both calcic amphiboles. So if you see an end section, there's some end sections in this field of view, you'll see some diamond shapes, which are the 6120 cleavage of amphiboles. There are also some prisms that are lying uh, down within the plane of the thin section. Those are the ones that have those intense interference colors, uh, the blues and oranges and, and magentas. Um, you may notice that they have inclined extinction. That's because actinolite and tremolite are clinoamphiboles. Although it's very subtle, actinolite has a very pale um, green pleochroism. So that long um, crystal that goes across the entire center of the field of view is an actinolite crystal. Um, and then you can see it's got that orange-yellow interference color as well as the, the blue and purple of the um, other crystals. Actinolite is the moderate relief crystals in the, in the middle, sort of shaped a little like an airplane. They're up against higher relief clinopyroxene and even higher relief um, titanite that are now immediately to the north. Um, across the polars, it's that magenta orange and the airplane wings are that sort of yellowy white. Higher relief than quartz, um, which is in this section also in one side. It's comparable to calcite, but calcite, of course, has variable relief. Now this is an odd sample. You're looking at end sections of amphiboles and there's super pale green ones and then there's sort of blue gray, blue green ones on the outside. So the cores are actually actinolite. That's a green schist facies amphibole. And the rims are hornblende, which is an amphibolite facies um, uh, amphibole. And so the actinolite cores tend to be a little bit brighter in their interference colors than the uh, hornblende rims. This is my one sample with end member tremolite in it. Tremolite is a calcium magnesium end member uh, amphibole. Um, this rock is absolutely brilliant white. Actinolite in hand sample is green, sort of an apple green color. Um, so how do you know that this isn't just actinolite? You really, it's almost impossible to tell. It does not have that pale green pleochroism, but otherwise the optical characteristics are virtually identical.